What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. All right, all right. Sorry about the glistening off my melon. It's a little warm in here because I'm trapped into a little area trying to bring you guys some more knowledge. Sweatshop. All right. So this particular video is going to be about renouncing your U.S. citizenship. Now, once again, hold on. I'm not telling you to do this. Not. N-O-T. Not telling you to do this. I already made a video on how it is a trap to do that. But if you're... I keep getting questions on how to do it and this and that. So I'm going to give you some basic information. I'm not condoning it. Everybody's life and situations are different. This is educational information only. But if you want to learn, you're going to Google this. Okay? Okay? Or search engine, whatever you choose. How do I renounce my U.S. citizenship? Okay, now I'm just going to start off by saying there are plus sides and there are downsides. A lot of the downsides are going to be that some of your accounts, depending on what you got set up, might close. You're going to lose benefits and privileges. If you guys are getting benefits, beneficial incomes and things of that from them, they're going to be gone. Okay, um... I don't know what everybody has set up, but you, that, I just want you to understand that it's a very serious thing. There are some protections, there are accounts, there are incomes, there are access to certain other accounts and things that if you do this, they can, could, or will close. You can always just do like most of us do, which is distance yourself by not utilizing it. Okay? Just because it's there and you don't like it and you just want to be completely the TF away from them um, doesn't mean get rid of it just distance it you can close certain things and not get close the whole kit and caboodle okay that being said I'm assuming that you're grown and that you are a national of the of America and that you are self-governing that being said we're going in under that premise let's go okay so once you Google that, it's going to bring you up to the travel state of GOV's website um, right here. Because the provisions of Section 349A5, U.S. citizens can only renounce their U.S. citizens in person and therefore cannot do so by mail or electronically. Now, that may have changed because of the COVID D, um, but in general, you have to take, you have to be sworn out, and there is a cost. Um, Let's see, uh, how much does it cost? Let's check that out. The fee to renounce U.S. citizenship is $2,300.50. Okay? So $2,350. Or 20, $2,350, rather, excuse me. To renounce. And it has to be done at a, before a federal uh, or court um, judge or situation. So you have to set this up. You can't just, you know, whatever. Now, I did also read on there that you can the the free way to do it would be to write it up on an affidavit and uh i swear a sworn oath to another country or whatever and that will suffice okay um and you can then notify them the department of state and um anywhere else you want to send it um the big house um your state, governor, whatever else. Now, one of the things you have to do if you're going to go down this avenue, you have to be careful because you want to specifically mention your 14th Amendment U.S. citizenship status and not your U.S. nationality. Okay? Those are separate aspects. Because if you just say that, you say it the wrong way, they're going to assume that you're, you might, you're doing all of it and you're just completely stateless. Um, so be very careful. Think about it long and hard before you do this. Do not do stuff willy-nilly. Will this get you out of some situations? I'm not condoning yes or no. Have people done it and some things have, you know, whatever? Yes. But trying to get back in. You have to do the whole process all over if they even allow it. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Don't just, this is just for those people who wanted more information on. This is all educational information only. Okay, just like the whole YouTube, everything I'm putting out here. 
Um, so yeah, so you have to be very specific that you are maintaining that. Um, hopefully you've created your own state. Now, if you're just leaving the, the entire physical country, traveling over the pond to Zimbabwe or Timbuktu or wherever, then yeah, whatever, it's good, it's gone, you're leaving a whole new life over there, okay? But keep in mind that, like, they might yank things that are theirs. I mean, your passport could go. Now you're stuck out there. I mean, something happens to another country, um, they might be like, well, hey, <laughs> Mr. Smarty Pants, according to this here file, you ain't one of ours anyway, so we're not coming to help you. Okay, because you are stateless, or you got rid of that aspect. You got rid of those protections and things. Um, so let's get to stateless. Now, if you go stateless and you just get rid of all of it, yes, you are truly operating underneath your own volition, your own accord. Um, but if you don't have anything set up, you might find it kind of hard to get things you need, like IDs and this and that. Yes, you can create your own ID, but that's what I'm saying. Think before you do things. Make sure you have things in place. Because I know a guy who was, back when I first started doing this, he decided he wanted to renounce, got rid of all that. Yeah, I'm renounced. Yay, did it all. I think he might have even paid. I don't even remember which way he did it. But once again, when he needed certain things, they weren't there. Because you're basically going to be treated like you are a either, I mean, you are foreign. You, you illegally came to this country, depending on how you are operating or traveling or whatever else. And, you know, where are they going to kick you out? You know, you don't have, you don't have, you have to have things in place before doing anything. That's why I always tell people, look the, before you jump, okay? Do not just make that leap. Okay. Um, what happens when I renounce my U.S. citizenship? You will no longer be an American citizen if you voluntarily give up your, or you renounce your U.S. citizenship side. You might lose your U.S. citizenship in specific cases. Apply for citizenship in a foreign country with the intentions of giving it up. Or commit an act of treason against the United States. Okay. So, will I lose my Social Security if I renounce? Um, you can, as an NRA, you can generally continue to collect U.S. Social Security just as you would if you remained a U.S. citizen. Depending on these factors, you may just get a minor tax adjustment or you may have your payments discontinued after you are outside of the U.S. for six months. So, once again, that's why I said do your history, do your research, learn everything before just doing that. Um... Why people renounce. Um, in order to renounce your U.S. citizenship, you need to have a second passport of another country. So there you go, right there. They're telling you. If you fully, officially do it the proper way, you pay the 2300 it is done. So like for me, I have distanced myself from that. I told them, essentially, I am distancing myself i'm not fully renouncing because like i said you, you should do it the proper way um i told them that it is either from my perspective it is either considered renounced or um pending or um in hiatus or i'm distancing myself from it i didn't say exactly which one i gave myself some leeway but letting them know that as far as norm, my normal operation of life is going to be 99 to 100% U.S. national operating on, within my own state um, through my own micronation. Um, but so do I have, still have access to that? Yes. But in my normal daily life, I operate as that is done because I don't want any of those things from them. But if I ever need to have access, I still have it. So that's about it, guys. Um, do your homework. Before you make a leap, check out all the information down below and the website. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to support the channel. Appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed. Thank you for helping me continue to build. And those people who are going to, and even those people who just watch. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day.